It is Jack with just another car channel. And I was just looking at the shovel thinking, man, this is a pretty nice shovel. It's uh, done its purpose for us. It's shoveled. That's not why we're here today. Why we're here today is uh, I recently made a decision and brought home another project car <clears throat> yeah look at this beast um the person that had it traded it for traded it some guy for stuff and the guy before him smoked a deer with it which that's kind of sad but i mean what else are you gonna do it came with these wheels on it which i actually kind of enjoy they're nice they're kind of heavy though and they're only well Actually, they aren't heavy. They just look heavy. And they're only 14s. So you can get right there. 14s and they're... Yeah, that's like dinky size for a tire. So, let's, uh, let's, let's actually look at this. So, it's a 1980 Datsun 280ZX. The fenders... Well toast the door isn't terrible but it's not perfect it used to have tinted windows and i do believe those are stock louvers it is a five speed which is all fun and fantastic it did have some mice in it and uh this down here um yeah i don't know if you can really tell but that is the floor of the car. I think they ran over something big. Now, clutch pedal. Oh, geez, I hit my camera. It sits there because it needs to be bled. Hood release, which I never understood with these cars. Why they have the 510 on there is the hood release. 176,000 miles. Kind of cool i mean it's a little bit more than what i've seen on these but still let's see if we can open the hatch um it's kind of picky you gotta be all nice to it and see that it didn't open let's try it once more okay maybe all right we gotta do this the hard way Gotta take our little, uh, disgusting bottle of Tabasco sauce. Prop it. Mm. Right there. And hope. Oh, it worked. Mm. Whew. Because the hatch goes up. And no, the shocks in it are bad, so it doesn't hold itself up. Those need to be worked on a little bit. Those are the caps for the wheels. I do not know what's underneath those uh, in there. Kind of afraid to look. Hmm, potential murder weapon. That's nice. Potential murder evidence. That's also nice. It does not have a spare tire, sadly. I mean, yeah, sadly it doesn't. Other than that, it's, uh, I like it. Quite a bit. It's not perfect. I do see it has potential. Oh, and uh, one other thing. That wheel looks familiar. Hmm. Very familiar. Other than that, this side's the good side. Except right there. Yeah, this side's the good side. And I do believe it has been painted before. 
Lastly, let's check out what's underneath the hood. Or if you're from across the pond, let's check out what's underneath the bonnet. I know, I'm just... Bad accents mean... Bad things. Oh, and I got a crack in the windshield. You can almost see my reflection. <laughs> I'll make everyone a promise. I'll do a face reveal. It a hundred thousand views. Like an actual face reveal, not some reflection. Now, you might be wondering, why is that here? Well, oh, and by the way, before we uh, go on that, I'm at 25,000 views, I do believe. Something close. Okay. This foil is because the intake throttle body's right here. The intake comes off and splits, and it has a big old hole in it because it sat for a while. So, I covered that up because I washed it. Everything pretty much under here hasn't been touched. Oh, and it is a manual steering, by the way. But, if we look down here, hopefully, if you can still hear me, it's straight piped. Back, it should have a cat there, but doesn't. And, well, I think it should. Goes to the muffler that's back at the back. Like most of these. Now, another common problem is that these love to rust. However, luckily, this hasn't. It has a Nissan's L28 in it, NA, and, well, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look, walk around to the other side real quick. This battery's been in here for far too long. That thing is not a turbo, it is an injector fan. They're pretty much useless. Oh, shh. Excuse that shaky part right there. Sorry for that. This thing has sat for about 14 years. So it's not perfect. And if we look down there, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of surface rust. But I've seen these a lot worse. Let's get a better view. Alright. Well, that pretty much wraps this up. If you have any... Well, I guess, maybe not questions, because I pretty much went over mostly everything. Oh, real quick though, someone tried to weld a battery to the hood. Metaphorically, of course, but they did. Let's see. Hope everyone enjoyed, and please leave a like. And if you want to see this eventually, in future videos because I'm not going to start on it yet. I still have another car I need to get running and I think I might be purchasing one soon, hopefully. So, not completely sure exactly what will happen yet. But, this will return. I promise you, promise everybody, even if it's in the next video saying, oh, I'm getting rid of it, it will be back. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and please subscribe.